All right, we are looking to make a maze in SketchUp and then experience it in 3D, in VR. So let's get to it. Remember to turn on closed captionings if you are in a noisy environment. And be sure to pause this video, follow along as we go along, and you should be able to accomplish this fairly simply. So I'm going to start off by creating a rectangle. And I want it to be about the size of maybe a normal size house, something like that, so possibly about uh, 10 meters by 20 meters, let's say. I don't know, it's a fairly large house, I suppose, in some ways, but let's go with that. And I would like get to get my units into metric, so I'm going to turn this over into actually meters for this one. And one decimal is plenty. And now I'm going to start building this maze. Uh, what I'm going to do first is give the floor some thickness. So as we always do, push-pull up. I might just say maybe, I don't know, 10 centimeters. It doesn't matter for this how thick we make things because we're not going to print it. So it's simply just creating things that look good and that we like. Next, I'm going to offset. And I'm going to offset by about half a meter, 0 0.5. And then I'll hit Enter. This will be my wall thickness. And then the next offset I want to do is to make a path thickness or width. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to make this about 2 meters. And that will give us a nice wide path. And then from there, I can then offset again. And I can do half a meter. And this is going to be my very, very basic maze. I will expect you to make much larger mazes. And so you can follow along with what I'm doing here, but for when you go to build it, make it like 10 times bigger and make a lot of pathways and such. Next, to build ways to get into this maze, let's say I want to have my door starting over here. What I'll do is I'll start with a rectangle. This is the easiest and quickest way. And just make a rectangle a reasonably good size. You can see in the bottom right-hand corner down over here, then I'm looking at about a 3 meter door, and that's pretty reasonable. Even 2 meters is plenty for most people to get through, but if this is my start, uh, maybe 2 meters. And now I can do this in multiple locations, so I'm going to maybe enter through this area. And maybe I want to go all make this the person go all the way around to the back and then in through over here. So I will create another rectangle on this side. I didn't have to rotate that, but I did down to two meters approximately. And now here's a very important thing to watch carefully. I'm going to use my eraser tool. That's this one up here, the E for the letter E for eraser. On the inside I erase both lines. It creates a nice space we can walk in. Over here I don't want to erase this outside line because watch what happens. Everything kind of goes weird. So control Z I only want to erase the one inside line on the exterior wall. Just that one and leave it. And now when I go to push pull, I can bring my walls up. Maybe I'll bring them up three meters so that it's hard to peek over. Bring this one up. I can bring this up, move my mouse, touch the top of this wall, and now I know they're the same height. And now I've got a maze that I can go inside of and interact with in virtual reality. A couple of notes. If you're looking to make a more advanced maze, let's say, for example, I don't want them to be able to go to the left and then in, I could make a rectangle, and it doesn't matter the width, across the hallway like this. From here, I can use the eraser tool, erase the lines, and then use the push-pull tool, and now I can raise all of it at once. Type in three meters, and now I've got my walls ready to go and now when I enter this maze if I was to put myself into walking mode here you can see that it would be very challenging to I bumped into the wall there anyways I'm not gonna go through the whole thing Oh, now I'm inside the wall. Let's just jump out. When we get into virtual reality, you'll be able to move around efficiently. 
So that is how you make a maze. Be sure to make it a lot larger in order to get full credit. This would only get you very minimal credit with only a couple of hallways. So this would be one hallway, two hallways, three hallways, and you're at the end. So that's not very much to give you very many marks. I need you to get a more complicated maze, make it larger, have a lot of fun with it. And sometimes what I like to do at the end is to take a component. So I go to the 3D warehouse, maybe I'll put in a whale, grab myself a big whale, and I'll put it in there. I'm going to have to scale it down quite a bit. What I can do then is bring my whale, put it in here, maybe rotate it. And that way I know once I finish my maze that I did in fact finish it because I found the object at the end. Kind of a fun way to do it. Next step. Made the maze. Now I want to import it. Well, I'm going to give it a name. Save it. Give it some sort of a name. And then we're going to export it to, the, to an STL. We can put this into any old folder. I might call it test maze. My last name on there. My downloads folder, I know where it is. And now we're going to go to a website called Sketchfab. So let's go there. Sketchfab.com. You can see at the top here how it's spelled. S-K-E-T-C-H-F-A-B.com. So head on over there. It's quite simple. You can choose to upload and it will ask me to sign in. I'm going to choose to sign in with Google. And that will use our Learn34 account. You may have to go through a few things just to get it started, to verify your email, that kind of thing. So be sure you go through those steps. Pause the video, make sure you get through that, and then come back to here. Next, we can choose to upload. Now it says to drag and drop or browse. So if you have to go browse for it, that's fine. If you are still at the same step, you'll see your file is down here. You can just drag and drop it. I'm going to go continue. Test maze, aimant. It's important that you give it a name that you can then search later on easily. So put your last name or put in some sort of a phrase or a short something that will help you to be able to search it later. You might even want to put your first initial last name. Don't put your full name in there, please. Next, private model must be off. Allow texture inspection is good. And that's all we really need to do. We'll say continue. And then next, in here, we have some very important steps to do to make things work out. First of all, can it be downloaded? We must say it's free. So this will save, allow us to put many models into here without any problems. So it must be public and it must be free to download. Otherwise we have to pay for things and we don't want to do that. So I'm going to save that. Next, very important settings, 3D settings. In here, we don't have to touch very much. The only menu is the one with the VR settings because we want to experience this in VR. You can see when I click on that, that this fella is enormous. But if I click on this button, one unit equals one meter it's exactly the right size from how I made it because in SketchUp, if you recall, we chose the units to be in meters. That's a very important step. All right. Then I can just click this button and I'm ready to go, except now I just want to bring this guy. Uh oh, I just rotated. I want to bring this fellow by grabbing onto these arrows into the beginning of my maze. Try right clicking, left clicking, left rotates, right clicking slides it and zooming is still with that. Now I've put my fellow character, whatever this is, into the start of the maze and we are ready to start solving it. So at this point we can now save it and it's up here in the top right and then, then I can choose to exit it brings up my model again, ready to start, and now I can say publish. And so that should be the way to do it. Uh, and now in talk, we'll 
in class we'll talk about how to load it into the VR headset. It's a very simple process. Alright, hope that was helpful.